morning. Uh, I'm Tad Schechter. I'm the chief engineer uh, of the Corvette. I've uh, been working on Corvettes for 20 years and uh, never been prouder than uh, now bringing out uh, this new Stingray. It seems like it's been a long time since we introduced the car in Detroit and uh, we've been very busy uh, preparing the car, finishing the car, uh, getting the assembly plant in Bowling Green, Kentucky uh, up and ready to go. We wanted to uh, get back to the Stingray name for a long time. As I said, I've been on the car 20 years, and it's always been in the back of our minds, you know, why can't we leverage some of our fantastic history, uh, the legacy that we have um, with the, the brand name Stingray. Uh, but the truth is we never had a product uh, worthy of the name. And honestly, when we started uh, on this car, even though we aspired uh, to that, you know, be able to use that hallowed name, uh, we honestly didn't know uh, at the beginning of the program if we would be successful enough uh, to be able to use it. So the very last things we did was take a look at uh, what we created in terms of the bill of material, the technologies uh, we used, the aesthetic, the form, the design aesthetic of it, both exterior and interior, uh, and we basically put ourselves to the test after we drove the first prototype cars to decide, you know, should we use the Stingray uh, moniker on this car? And uh, so the very last thing we did was say, yes, we're going to do that and put the Stingray badge because um, we're, we're very proud. We think it, it lives up to the standard that uh, the Stingray name implies. When we started working on this car, one of the big challenges we had is we knew the car would be roughly the same size. It's roughly within an inch in every dimension, height, width, length, wheelbase, all within an inch, and uh, any designer will tell you if you're not dramatically changing the proportion of a vehicle, it's very hard to make a, a big design statement with it. Uh, we looked to the race team uh, to for inspiration on wh what we can do to make the car look better, but also have the way it looks make it function better. And so everything you see on the surface of the car was patterned after our successful race program. So the same tools that we use, the same kind of ideas and techniques. Uh, on a race car, uh, nothing is about aesthetics. It's all about function. Uh, and so whatever it takes to get across the line first, that's the priority. We use the same kind of mindset to use that same kind of racing logic and use, get that functionality. But we had to do it not in a brute force way. We had to do it in a well-integrated, beautiful way. And uh, that's what you see on this car. The technology underneath, I'll talk a little bit more about the aluminum structure. Uh, you can take a look at some of the aluminum pieces around here. Uh, we've got the very first uh, standard use of carbon fiber uh, on the Corvette. Uh, interior, absolutely uh, a priority in the development of the car, and I've already spoken about the race-proof design.